Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. I'm Puan Rosliza binti Ramli from SK Jalan 4 Bandar Baru Bangi, Selangor. Hello, how is everyone today? I hope you are in the best of health. Are you ready for today's lesson? Today, we are going to learn about improper fractions and mixed numbers. But, before that, let's recall fractions. What is fractions? Proper fractions and improper fraction. Fractions are found everywhere in our daily life. Follow me. Let's see what I have in my kitchen. Look at this food. Don't you love cakes, pizza and donuts? Well, I do. Now, look at the food. Each one of these is called one whole. I don't think I can finish all this food by myself. Can you eat one whole pizza by yourself? How about these lovely cakes? Do you want to share with me? I can cut this cake into a small part. So, if I cut this into equal parts, you and I can have a quarter of the cake. We'll get a fair shake. We'll get a fair share of the cake, right? Do you know, by cutting the cake, we are actually creating fractions. So, you can see, parts of the cake is less than one whole. Now, let's take a look at the squares given. What is the fraction of red square? Four or six squares are red. So, 4 over 6 is written like this. 4 over 6. Can you see in the red line? Fractions are made of two numbers. A top number and a bottom number. We call the top number as numerator and bottom number as denominator. Let's see the fraction again. For example, 4 over 6. 4 is numerator, which is how many parts we are talking about. And 6 is denominator, which is total number of parts. Don't worry. If you can't remember which one is the denominator or numerator, just remember this tip. Always remember... The denominator is 1 down here. D for down. D for denominator. You got it? Before we continue, there are two learning objectives for this topic. And at the end of the lesson, you will be able to identify improper fractions and mixed numbers involving denominators up to 10. Besides that, you should understand that the value or the proper fraction is less than 1. And you must know that improper fraction has a numerator larger than denominator or numerator is equals to the denominator. The second objective is you will be able to know how to change an improper fractions to mixed numbers. And you should understand that the value of the mixed numbers is more than 1. Okay everyone, are you still with me? Please make yourself comfortable. Can you say the following fractions given? 2 over 4, 3 over 6, 5 over 8, 3 over 9, and the last one is 9 over 10. Well done! Now, 
Let's take a look at the fraction. Can you see the numerators? They are all in the red line. All the numerators are smaller than denominator. These are called proper fractions. A proper fraction is always less than 1. Now, let's go to the next slide. Look at the picture given. What is the opposite of tall? Short. Very good. How about big? Yes, the answer is small. That's good. Can you see the relation between proper fraction and improper fractions? What is improper fractions? Proper fraction is when the numerator is smaller than denominator, it's shown in the blue line. Then, how about improper fractions? Can you guess? Yes, that's a good idea. Proper fractions is the opposite of improper fractions. Improper fraction is when the numerator is larger than denominator. It's shown in the red line. But if both numbers are equals, it's also known as improper fraction. When you understand the proper fraction well, it will be easy for you to recognize all the improper fractions. Now, can you help me to find the improper fractions? Just look at the example given. Let us try together and say the following fractions. 1 over 3 2 over 3 3 over 3 4 over 3 and 5 over 3. Now, which one is a proper fraction? Those in the blue circle are proper fractions. How many fractions are left? What is the answer? The remaining fractions are called improper fractions. Let's say the improper fractions again. 3 over 3, 4 over 3, and 5 over 3. Improper fraction is when the numerator is larger than denominator or the numerator is equal to the denominator. Very good. Now, let's see the next diagram. Can we try again? Can you help me find the correct answer? Let's say the fractions together. 1 over 6, 2 over 6, 3 over 6, 4 over 6, 5 over 6, 6 over 6, 7 over 6, 8 over 6, 9 over 6 and 10 over 6. Which one are improper fractions? Good job everyone, the proper fractions are in the white shaded. And don't forget 6 over 6 also the improper fractions. Look at the yellow shaded. Well done. Let's move to the next one. Remember, fractions are always less than a whole. But, how about when the fraction is bigger than a whole? Take a look at this diagram. We have one whole and one over six of the square are shaded in red. Can you find the improper fractions in the red square? The answer is seven over six. Do you know an improper fraction 
can also be expressed as mixed numbers. How to change the improper fractions to mixed numbers? Why is it called a mixed numbers? Mixed numbers is a mix of a whole number and a proper fraction. Let's see the next example. How to change the improper fractions to mixed numbers? We are used to seeing these kinds of fractions. For example, 7 over 4. Let's take a look at the diagram given. There are 7 quarters shaded in red. 7 over 4 means 4 over 4 is 1 whole and 3 quarters left. So, the answer is 1 and 3 over 4. There are 1 whole and 3 quarters. This mixed number is 1 and 3 over 4. Can you change the mixed numbers into improper fractions? Next, state 2 and 1 over 6 as an improper fraction. Now, let us count the red shaded squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Can you count how many one whole shaded? There are two. So, there are 13 parts altogether. The improper fraction is 13 over 6 or 2, 1 over 6. Excellent! For example, 7 over 4. Let's take a look at the diagram given. There are 7 quarters shaded in red. 7 over 4 means 4 over 4 is 1 whole and 3 quarters left. So, the answer is 1 and 3 over 4. There are 1 whole and 3 quarters. This make number is 1 and 3 over 4. Can you change the mixed numbers into improper fraction. Next, state 2 and 1 over 6 as an improper fraction. Now, let us count the red shaded squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Can you count how many one whole shaded? There are two. So, there are 13 parts altogether. The improper fraction is 13 over 6 or 2 1 over 6. Excellent! Now, can you do the following question? Can you match the mixed numbers and the improper fractions with the correct answer? Let's check the answer. Can you match the answers correctly? 1, 2 over 6, 9 over 9, 6 over 6, 2, 1 over 4, 9 over 5, 3 and 2 over 6, 8 over 3, 1 and 7 over 6. Can you match the correct answer? 
Yes. That's very good. Okay, can you see the improper fractions and the mixed numbers? Wow, excellent. Good job. What about this question? There are four diagrams. Can you find the correct answer in the parts that are shaded yellow? There are one, two, and three. There are three whole numbers. In the fourth diagram, six out of nine has been shaded in yellow. So, we read this as six over nine. Yay! You have answered all correctly. Yes, here are the last question. Find out the mixed numbers and improper number. What is the answer for A? There are the mixed numbers is 2 and 1 half or 5 over 2. Wow, excellent! Now, look at B. 1 and 2 over 4 or 6 over 4. Great! Well, that's all for today. Before we end our lesson, you now know that proper fractions are less than one whole. Improper fraction is one whole or more than one whole. Mixed number is a mix of whole number and a proper fraction. Improper fraction can be changed into mixed numbers and mixed numbers can be changed into improper fraction and vice versa. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson and keep doing the exercises at home. Till we meet again, remember the only way to learn math is to do math. See you soon. Bye. Thank you.